New Mexico Republicans are hoping to overturn recently redrawn political boundaries, arguing that the Democrats gerrymandered the new districts. But is some gerrymandering in those decisions OK? The state Supreme Court says it's to be expected. News 13's Natalie Wattis brings us that discussion from a legislative committee this week. The legislature met. It formed a plan. That plan was Senate Bill 1. Attorney Lucas Williams says Senate Bill 1 was a product of change. The last census showed that New Mexico's population had grown by approximately 2.8 percent, or 2,117,522 souls. Williams, who represents the legislature, says the growth wasn't uniform, with the biggest jump in the southeast of the state. And that's what's behind the redrawing of congressional district lines. Principally, southeastern New Mexico is now represented by Congressional District 2 and Congressional District 3, with a very small amount of what is traditionally considered to be the boot heel of Chavez County being represented by CD1. But early in 2022, the Republican Party sued, arguing the new districts unconstitutionally diluted the votes of southeastern New Mexicans. The state Supreme Court stepped in on July 5th of this year, ordering the district court to decide this case and offering guidelines for making that ruling. Those guidelines say that some degree of partisan gerrymandering is expected and permissible from lawmakers who draw up these maps. The order doesn't specify how much gerrymandering is too much, except to say it shouldn't be, quote, egregious. And the Supreme Court's order reflects that redistricting is a political process, and politics does not invalidate redistricting. It is difficult for me to believe that a fact finder, when presented with all of the evidence, will find that SB1 is the product of partisan gerrymandering. Senator Cervantes explaining his intent in shaking up the districts. My intent was very simple, which was to create competitive districts. Meanwhile, Republican representatives condemning the whole new map. I think it's very hard for anyone to say that this was not a political matter, this was not partisan, because the numbers just are completely different. Despite the disagreement, the lawyer says one thing is certain at this point. Because this matter must be tried to completion by October 1, I will tell you it will be frenetic. There will be a, a lot of sleepless nights for a lot of attorneys across New Mexico. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. The state Supreme Court said the case must be decided by October 1st. The lawyer saying the tight timeline is most likely a product of the impending election cycle in 2024.